Okay, so find out where you left off in your persuasive letter. So here's mine. It looks like I made it all the way to the bottom. So what do I do now? For me, I'm going to have to go over to the back. For Just by looking at a couple of your papers right now, you don't have to flip yours over yet. But what everybody needs to do is go to the next available line. You'll go skip a line. And then take your finger and put your finger on the edge of that line because we need to do a margin. Or, or no, not a margin. We need to indent. We need to indent. Take your pen, your finger, <clears throat> find the edge of the line, and then hop over with your pencil and make a little mark. This is where we're going to start writing our closing. Now this is the closing. It's where we kind of wrap up everything we've talked about so far. Now the, the girl in the video that we saw earlier, she finished up by saying, these are my reasons. Please consider them. And that's a great way to end our persuasive letter. So I'm going to write these reasons. You can write this too. Show why. And then you tell me whatever your thing is. Like this, these reasons show why the dog should be allowed to come in the house. These reasons show why um, I need a new pet. These reasons show why we shouldn't have to do homework anymore. In my case, I'm writing about playground equipment, so I'm going to write these reasons show why our school needs new playground equipment. Period. You should be adding this to the. Go get a pencil from over there. And then a polite way to ask for something is to use the word please. So I'm going to do one more sentence. I'm going to say, please consider my ideas. Please think about my ideas. Remember, very best handwriting. We have to do the final closing. The closing says what? Sincerely. Yes, the closing says sincerely. Hi ho, the letter parts. The closing says sincerely. All right, so we're going to skip two lines this time. One, two. I know there's a space on the back for the closing, but a lot of you didn't make it to the back page. So let me just show you what I'd like you to do. I'm going to skip. Oh, you're on the bottom. So I'll just write yours on the back. So I'm going to skip two lines. And then in the middle, I'm going to write the word sincerely. Write the word Sincerely, and then put a comma. It's up here. Come closer if you can see it. I can zoom in too. There we go. And then what do I say under sincerely? Addison? Your name. You sign your name. Make sure you spell your name right. If you want to do your cursive name, yeah. I would do your full name. No. So closing is all we're working on today. Um, once you're finished with your closing, go ahead and put it back into your binder pocket for tomorrow. We'll do some editing and revising.